Everybody, it's Len from Len's Crafts Designs. I've got another um, witchy apothecary bottle collection video today. This is just a strip of cardstock. I don't even know how wide it is or anything. Uh, let's say three inches. Alright, I'm going to divide it up into sections and we're going to fold a cube. Okay, now we're going to fold it along those score lines. Fold it better when I'm done. And I don't know where my scoring tool is, and that was the whole problem to begin with. So I got too many nails on this end. I'm alright. Not too many, but. Just a minute, buddy. We just all of a sudden, literally, it was 100 degrees, then we had five days, five days of rain, and once it started raining, he all of a sudden lived outside. He wants outside. He stays outside all night all of a sudden, and yes, I know it's probably because he's getting old. He'll be nine in, in he'll be nine on January first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause a second and go deal with the dog. Okay. Now I need the towel anymore for the minute. I just cut off. One, two, three, four, and then cut off eh, half an inch or so. Doesn't matter. You can tape this together or glue it together. This is just the Aline's tacky glue. <clears throat> Y'all can see, it used to be stored right next to my water. My cleanup water. Now, my cleanup water is where? Right next to my computer screen. So my computer screen has a nice little white streak in the corner <laughs> that I haven't cleaned off yet. Back to talking about the storms. So, after the storms, which today has been the first day that it hasn't rained since last Thursday or whatever. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've also got a mouse in my studio. So, my husband will have to set the mouse traps tonight. So this morning was dedicated to repair work. I had two different pieces that the mouse had found. And I was not happy at all. Okay, I just want to make sure this glues 
evenly and correctly. Alright. There is the cube for our zombie skin box. Alright. <clears throat> that is just going to let us put together the polymer clay cube and bake it all at one time now it won't have the bottom or the top but it will bake the cube all at one time as opposed to um, making a side making the four sides and then gluing them together I promise I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to get my words out. Alright. I'm going to finish letting this glue. Then I'm going to get out my black clay. And roll it out probably on a three. Okay, buddy. <laughs> he decided he didn't want out yet. He needed a drink of water first. Then, now he wants outside. Right. <clears throat> my black clay rolled out on a three. And my cube. about that. gonna cut it off and close it up like that okay now of course you can cut it off wherever you want make your box as tall as you want yeah I'm thinking right there would be a good spot Remember, my black pardo, well, this particular batch, is pretty sticky.
Okay. Now, I'm going to take my ball tool. It's got a bigger end on one end and a little bitty end on the other end. I'm going to take the little bitty end. Okay. I'm going to make some, like, stitching lines. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to do that on all four sides. Don't worry, they don't have to line up or be even or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, now, at this point, you can... Add some what looks like where it's pieced together. Okay, like that. Alright, you can do that all the way around. Let's see, let's make this one continue on. Okay, like that just to make it look like sewn leather okay this side doesn't have anything so let's start something right here this time I'm going to go ahead and draw it all the way around
All right. Just to give it a look of stitched leather. All right. Remember, we're going for skin. <laughs> Zombie skin. All right. Now, I'm going to just real quick before I bake this. I did add the little loop to hang dangles off of. <clears throat> And I did put a square underneath. I, all I did was roll out polymer clay on my thickest setting. And then cut it out around the box. <laughs> uh, just to make it easier. Um, so now we'll bake this. And all we have to do then is to bake the lid. Lee and bake it all at one time but it's easier um to get the size that we need of the lid after we take this cardboard support out okay so now we're really gonna bake this 275 for 30 minutes i'm not really worried about the roughness of that edge because we can sand that before we make the lid okay here it is I'm just leave that right there for now a little bulge at the bottom but it's supposed to be skin it's supposed to be leather so even if it's human leather <laughs> okay now that we can save and use again I see this question a lot on Facebook um, whether you can bake polymer clay on something paper cardboard but the flash point the point at which paper catches fire is 400 degrees fahrenheit so if you're just curing polymer clay it ain't gonna hurt it i baked on tissue paper slash toilet paper toilet paper tubes paper towel tubes cardstock you name it it works just fine so go for it all right this is a falling apart emery board that i'm just gonna sand the edges with if, if if it'll sand if not I've got a new, another one a new one let's try it <laughs> oh yeah Okay, we just want it to have an even surface. <sighs> Ta-da! Okay, now. We just need to roll out a little bit more of this black Primo clay here on the thickest setting. Now, remember, don't try to roll a big water clay through your pasta machine. 
I'm not saying it won't do it. I'm just saying you'll damage your pasta roller. Pasta machine. That my clay machine, that's what I should have said, clay machine is off camera. So. Okay. Now, I'm just going to. Make a mark. Okay. <laughs> the last time I cleaned my desk, I rubber banded all my tools. And I just slept them that way. Okay. That should be the inside diameter of your box. Okay. Maybe we've got enough there. Now, if you'll notice, I'm trying really hard not to lay my clay down on my silicone mat. I do not know if polymer clay will cause a reaction, but I do know the polyurethane resin, um, if you set it on your silicone mat for very long will mess it up it's like it's like the ones that aren't heat safe if you put your hot glue gun down for very long it warps and bubbles it so don't do that okay now We're going to roll this out again. See if we can make it just a little bit bigger. And we'll do it again. just gonna plop this down on here and cut out the same shape as the bottom hey don't cut it Okay, which I actually did do right there. Now. We want to take that smaller square. And we want to put it in the middle of that one we just cut. Okay. Let's kind of round the corners and...
Make it look like it might be made of leather instead of <laughs> instead of polymer clay. Now we want to take that. ball tool again. Okay. And we just want to make a design like we did on the rest of it. Okay, like it's been stitched. Now, I'm going to bake this on a piece of cardstock. Okay, because I want that um, design, pattern, whatever, not to have shiny spots. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to make sure those edges are laying flat. Okay, now if you're worried about whether your top will set down like it's supposed to, um, leave that for after it's baked, okay? So, we're going to bake this, but before I bake that, I want to make a zombie hand to put on top, okay? So, let's do that. Just a little bit of clay left, that doesn't matter. Okay, there's one of two ways you can do this. You can... Future Lynn here again, totally annoyed. Pretend this is Black Primo. What I was saying before the camera cut me off, and then didn't film. Uh, let's take a little less of this. Okay. You can either. Okay. Just a little shape like that smaller on one end than it is on the other flatten that out a bit okay this is this is gonna be really rough well it's a zombie hand so get a tile please excuse the dirty tile Okay, all I'm going to do is cut three slits, kind of even. Like that. 
Okay. Spread the fingers out a bit. Then I'm just going to round those fingers. Okay, like that. I do that to each one. Okay, don't worry if you break one of them off or whatever. It's polymer clay. It'll stick right back on there. Like that. Okay, now if you're worried about it, you can make one of them shorter, longer, whatever you need to do. Now you can either do it like this, or you can make the fingers separately, then attach them to the palm of the hand. Okay, make this look more like the palm of the hand. Okay, you can just look at your hand. Just like that. Alright, then flip it over. You can take four tiny little dots. <laughs> Too big. Then take the silicone tool again. Now this is just for decoration, so you don't have to make it look that spectacular. Okay. You can add a wrist, you can do whatever you desire, okay? Now remember, this is going to be the underside, so we won't see that. 
That one finger right there is bugging me a bit, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. Okay, and again, you can make some knuckles. Give it a little shape. We're going to put it over the edge of the box. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of clay. Okay, decide which is our thumb side. That's going to be this side. Okay. Uh, before I bake it, I am going to put, this is just, you know, your generic mica powder in a black. Just to give it a little shimmer. not actually be shimmery enough. I'm going to take... Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just that little touch. I've got some scrap white clay <laughs> that's really dirty and yucky. But that does not matter. Pretty soft already. I've got some tiny little eye screws. Just gonna make a snake like that. On one end. Okay, we're just gonna make a little definition like that. And do the same thing on the other end. Voila, a bone. Okay, now I'm going to take one of these little, and these are small. If I had bigger ones, I, if I had bigger ones that I knew right where they were, <laughs> I would definitely be using them. But it doesn't matter. These tiny little eye screws will work. Now, I'm going to put this... I'm going to put this in the end of the bone, and it may fall out, that doesn't matter, we'll glue it back in afterwards. Because as you know, polymer clay does not relatively stick to metal like, it, like you think it would. Okay. There we go!
Now, I'm just going to, once again, I'm just going to bake this 275 for 30 minutes. I promise this time. Hopefully. I won't change my mind and bake something else. Okay, now let's see if the lid fits. Okay, now it is kind of shaped similar to the box. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's decide where chain's gonna hang from here. It's got that little bit of Yeah. I'm thinking like right there is gonna be perfect. Okay, let's get out our B7000 and see if we can decide where it will touch. Okay, obviously on the palm right here. Just a bit across the finger right there, I'm hoping. Just like that. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to give that uh, maybe an hour to dry before we do anything else. And look in, see, looking in that little gap right there, I put the glue perfect. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then we'll be back. Okay, you're going to have to excuse me for a minute. I'm going to experiment. It's right around this bottom edge right here. Maybe that will work. This brush, I don't know if it was made this way or if somebody made it this way. It really doesn't matter. But it is um, very firm and very cut off. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if it came this way or if somebody made it this way. 
but if they did, I sure want to thank them. to have a little bit of oh there we go maybe I wanted it to have a little bit of a gray silvery kind of look but I can't decide what to what to make it look like that with. So it may just require some experimenting. This is the uh, Frank Garcia Artisan Powders. Now they do become permanent once they're on there for a little while. Sure, that's what I want, but <sighs> oh. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how, like, vampire skin in the movies and stuff has that kind of silvery shimmer? Okay, I've got, these are some skull beads. And most of them are large hole beads. So not really appropriate for what we're wanting to do here. There's these little bitty bitty ones. That I thought were a little too small. And then these. These just have a medium size hole, so we may have to put another bead below it to keep it from falling off, but that shouldn't be a problem. Now, we've got these electroplated um, little bicones. I love those. Those are so adorable. And maybe adorable is not the right word, but still. Okay. Then these are two chunks of I have no idea what. This is just a glass bead. This is just a glass bead. It's a glass crackle bead. And these are recycled from a broken piece of jewelry. I, I, I guess it was a charm bracelet, maybe? Or a necklace or something? Maybe some of those. Then these are acrylic. But I absolutely love the colors. I love this green, this purple, and even this orange right here. So maybe some of those. And then these are both um, glass bicones, but these are fours as, as opposed to those are sixes. Okay. Um... Maybe the purple, the orange. I love these um, kind of oil slick color. The black. Not so much any of these. And then, and then. these crackle glass beads now they're a crackle glass that's got a little bit I don't know this is not the right one to show but it's got a little bit of gold threading on the bead too so maybe a couple of these black one maybe a orange one maybe two orange ones the one with a little more orange okay let's maybe another black Let's let's go with what we've got here. Let's get out a couple of we'll need we'll need um these little bicones just for uh, 
in the place of seed beads. Let me put it that way. These, just because I'm in love with these colors. Like I said, we won't use all of these, but just to have them at the ready in case we do. Okay, hey, hey, get, get in your own spot there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some of these, maybe not. These little, these little black ones here, these are a half electric plate, half regular glass. should give a really nice effect. So, yeah. there are two of those. Okay, there's a good selection. Looks like a lot, but hey, I like a chunky charm. Okay, so um, I'm going to put all this back up and we'll see what we get. Okay, I've already put a bunch of these together. Um, just for the sake of you not having to set through it, and I'm still not very good at the fast-forwarding thing. So, I put one of those tiniest little seed beads. And I've got these little bitty bead caps okay. these purple ones are a little bit more elongated shape I mean these um, acrylic ones okay a little bit almost more egg shaped elliptical shaped whatever okay just leaving a little wiggle room. Don't cinch down on that bead too hard. Even though these are acrylic, the uh, ones at the bottom are glass. I just like the color. <laughs> okay. We got that right there. I'm just going to put together a few of these on camera. These head pins are like inch and a half, I think. Let me see if I can reach them up. Ruler. Yeah, inch and a half or... Um three and a half centimeter okay now we'll go with the orange on the bottom Ooh, and let's take the skull yeah let's 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 put it orange on top and on bottom Okay, leave a little room so it can wiggle around before you fold it over. Okay, then I use my index finger for a guide of where to cut it off. And I'll grip it just at the end and turn it up. 
and flip my pliers around and continue to roll it down. Okay. Now, what else do we have? Got three more of the acrylic. Some of the um, glass holographic, holographic, electroplate. And then we've got these. I'm not sure if these are glass or if they actually feel like stone. I don't think they're citrine, but I guess it's a possibility. They just have a when you when you've been working with beads for a while, you can tell just by the feel whether these these I'm telling you these feel like stone. They don't just feel like glass. Whereas that definitely feels like glass. These remind me of, I've got a, uh, mm -hmm, a crystal drop that is almost that color glass, and it, mm, it's really pretty. So, do we just put it by itself? Yeah, let's put it with one of these. Heck, why not? Let's put it between two of these. Between, between, Lynn, between. Okay, that really just leaves enough to um, roll the other end. No cutting off. Oh yeah. The chipped corner. No. Just an optical illusion. Okay. A few more of the bead caps. Hey, hey, hey. Well, almost didn't have a hole. got enough to do these um, other two acrylic beads and maybe not these two whatever they are so get out one more head pin okay two more start with the heaviest glass bead on the bottom of the chain and then I go up from there the next heaviest is normally right above that on this one in particular I, I followed that by the acrylic beads 
and then these two this crackle glass is pretty light comparatively and then this other glass bead this one is just heavier because it's so much larger all right I do the same thing on every <clears throat> on every one okay So here's what we've got. I think the lid went this way. Yeah. Not that it matters. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now, if you want to add some zombie skin inside, I would probably just take like some translucent maybe mixed with this is just some scrap but this uh primo i believe the color is wasabi um just some translucent mixed with that just for a little color and roll it out on your thinnest setting then um just on some paper uh, bake it in the oven, maybe add it a little wrinkle, um, just some, score some lines in it for some texture, just like with my metal knitting needle, and I would put that, just some little strips in the box for some, for some thick skin. Alright. <laughs> Alright, another collection of the Witchy Apothecary Bottle collection. Now remember, we're gonna, we're gonna do the cabinet at the end, so something else to look forward to. We only have a couple more, well, more than a couple, but a few more weeks left to get these finished I uh, I've already determined there's no way to get all of the um, bottles that I wanted to get done I it, it's just impossible to get them all done but we're gonna give it a try so next week will be something different I don't know what yet but it'll be something different Alright, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like everybody's video you watch. It really, it really does help the algorithm out a lot. Subscribe is free. Uh, share if you choose to. Bye for now.